Hi Year 3, so it's Friday the 14th of May, um, well done for making it to Friday, I hope you've enjoyed all of our English lessons this week, uh, I really enjoyed teaching you. So we are going to continue with our Werewolf Club Rules book by Joseph Coyle, and we've got another poem to look at today. Okay, so I'm going to start by reading that one, it's actually the title of the whole book, it's called Werewolf Club Rules. Do not talk about Werewolf Club. You can howl about it, but never talk. Do not walk to Werewolf Club. You can bound to it in moonlight, but never walk. Do not eat sweets at Werewolf Club. You can eat meat, raw meat, but no sweets. Do not bring cats to Werewolf Club. You can bring bats, hats, and even rats, but no cats. Do not bring silver to Werewolf Club. You can bring gold or pewter or even bronze, but no silver. Do not bring chewy toys to Werewolf Club. If you do, they will be confiscated. You won't get them back. They are very squeaky and make it hard for us to hear the day's agenda. Okay, it's a little bit different to the other ones we've looked at this week. Can you just pause the video like we have on the other days and talk or just think about or jot down any ideas about the poem's form or structure? Okay, so what techniques has the poem used, has the poet, sorry, used? Okay, what kind of words can you hear? Is there any rhyme? Is there any repetition? Okay, now a copy of this poem is written out and saved on, on your webpage for today with, with the video. So you can open it up, you can have a look at it. Okay, so think about the form and the structure and think about any techniques the poet has used. Okay, so hopefully you've noticed, if we have a look at it, We've got the verses or the stanzas. We've got one, two, three, four, five with three lines in. And then we've got our final one down here with three lines in as well. We've got this kind of funny bit here, okay? So it's a little bit of free verse. It's a little bit um, kind of, you know, the poets had a little bit of freedom there, okay? Now, did you notice any rhyming? There's not any uh, kind of a rule of rhyming. We haven't got rhyming in the same place in each verse. But we did have the bit about do not bring cats to Werewolf Club. You can bring bats, hats and even rats, but no cats. So that's a little bit of rhyming in that verse. Um, did anyone notice any other parts it rhymed? So we've also got the part here. You can eat meat, raw meat, but no sweets. So you've got meat and sweets. So there's a little bit of rhyme going on, but there's not kind of a strict rule. Did you notice anything else? How about the repetition? So each of the verses starts with do not. Okay, so we've got rules, haven't we? We've got rules for this werewolf club. So do not talk, do not walk, do not eat sweet, do not bring cats, do not bring silver, and so on. Okay, and then after that, so the beginning of the second line, we've got you can, you can. So it's the things that you can do. Okay, and then the third line is our but never Something. So the first verse again. Do not talk about Werewolf Club. You can howl about it, but never talk. Do not walk to Werewolf Club. You can bound to it in moonlight, but never walk. Okay, so you have got the same repetition, the same format within each verse until we get nearer the end. Okay, so hopefully you noticed some of those things. So now I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at performing and reading aloud this poem. We've got a writing task to do as well, so this isn't going to take you too long, but I just want you to use the sheet on the uh, website. You can either print it out or just have it on the screen and practice. How would you perform this poem? How would you read it out? Okay, so get it up, have a look at it and have fun with it. And I'll see you in a minute. So your writing task today is to write your own club rules as a poem, but it's going to be for a club of your choice. Okay, so Joseph Coyler was written about Werewolf Club. We're going to be thinking about what club you want to write about. Now, it might be a club that you usually go to. Okay, so it might be something like brownies or a sports club, a football club, a netball club, gymnastics club, cricket club. Um, it might be if you go to after school club. It could be a club you might do at school sometimes. So choir, we can call that a singing club or art club or Lego club. Okay, so have a think about any of the clubs that you know or you've heard of, or you can invent your own club. Maybe you want your club to be based on you. So it could be called Isla's Club, or it could be called um, Charlie's Club. 
Okay, so think about, you know, any kind of cup. It doesn't really matter too much. It's, it's your, own, your own idea here. So come up with which club you would like to do. And then you need to find a piece of paper and write your club down in the middle and maybe put a bubble or a circle or a square around it. And then we're going to do some mind mapping of ideas. Okay, so I'll show you mine before we get started. And I have chosen to do a singing club. That won't be a surprise to lots of you. Okay, so I'll show you what mine looks like now. Okay, so here's my piece of paper. I've written singing club in the middle with a bubble. I'm now going to add some ideas for rules. Okay, so things that are and things that aren't allowed at my singing club. Okay, so I would like you the rules when you start coming up with these to link with the poem. Okay, because we are using ideas in this form uh, to inspire our writing. So the first rule in this poem, do not talk about Werewolf Club. You can howl about it, but never talk. So it's kind of to do with speaking, isn't it? So I want us to stick with rule one. So the first idea on our mind map will be a rule to do with how people can speak at your club, okay? The second one is do not walk to Werewolf Club. You can bound to it in Moonlight, but never walk. So the second one is thinking about maybe a rule for how you get to your club or how you uh, travel around when you're at your club, okay? Rule three is do not eat sweets at Werewolf Club. And so it's about what you can eat at your club. And then we're only going to do four verses today because we haven't got a huge amount of time. So our fourth verse is do not bring cats to Werewolf Club. So it's about maybe what animals you can or can't bring. And we're going to use our imaginations here, of course. So I'll show you how you can write these ideas down for your rules on your piece of paper. Okay, so I've just made a note of which kind of the theme of each rule. So rule one is it took about talking. Rule two is about the travel, rule three is about the eating, and rule four is to do with animals. So my first rule, number one, which is linked to talking or how we talk there, I'm going to say that you can sing at Singing Club, but definitely not talk. So I'll just drop that down. Okay, so I've added them all in. So rule one, singing, not talking. That was linked with how we might talk whilst we're at our singing club. Now number two was about the travel, so I've said... We're only allowed to skip the singing club. We're not allowed to walk. Number three, okay, was about what we can eat. I thought about this and I thought ice lollies might be a really good thing to get our throats kind of, you know, ready to sing, whereas biscuits might be a bit too crumbly. So I've said eating ice lollies are allowed, but no biscuits. And rule four was to do with the animals. I thought we don't want cats and dogs, but we want like some birds because birds can sing and they can help us to sing some really tuneful songs. So they are my rules based on the rules of the Werewolf Club poem. Okay, so just make a note on your piece of paper where you've come up with your club you're going to do with some rules, okay? They don't have to link to those four things, but it might be an idea to think about what you're, how you're allowed to talk there, how you're allowed to get there, how, what you're allowed to eat there, and what animals are allowed to be there. Okay, so come up with your ideas like that. That's your first task. Okay, so when you're, you've got that and you've got all of your ideas written down, you're going to start to put it into a poem, okay? And you've got the form the, of each verse in, on, the, on the sheet on the website, okay? So do not talk about Werewolf Club. So my first line would say, do not talk about singing club. You can sing about it, but never talk. Okay, and that would be perhaps my first verse. I'm just going to write that one down. There we go, line one is the do not talk about singing club. Line two, you can sing about it. Line three, but never talk. And that follows exactly the same pattern as verse one in the poem that we're looking at today. Okay, so try and use that format now to, to include your own ideas about rule one. Okay? Okay, so I would now move on to verse two, which is to do with the travelling. So rather than saying do not walk to Werewolf Club, I would be saying do not walk to Singing Club. You can skip to it. Now in the poem it says you can skip to it in the moonlight. So I'm thinking I'm going to say you can skip to it in the sunlight, nice and bright and happy when we come to Singing Club, but never walk. Okay, now I've written down all of my verses on the website for you to use as a waggle and have a look at. So refer to that if you need to. Verse 3. Do not eat sweets at Werewolf Club. You can eat meat, raw meat, but no sweets. So I'm going to have my poem as, do not eat biscuits at Singing Club. You can eat 
ice lollies, I might even add ice cream, but no biscuits. So you're just writing out your own set of rules. And the last one, do not bring cats to werewolf club. You can bring bats, hats and even rats, but no cats. So I'm saying, do not bring cats or dogs to singing club. You can bring birds. Now I haven't thought of any rhymes to go here. So I think I'm just going to say you can bring birds and their sweet singing voices, but no cats and dogs. Okay, so it's just about fun today. It's a, a really fun kind of almost nonsense poem. It's not really making sense as such. You know, we wouldn't really bring birds to singing club. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. And as I've said, my verses are all written down on the website as a waggle, so you can have a look at those. But yeah, just put your ideas. So you're just writing a set of rules for your club based on this poem. Okay, and I hope you've enjoyed this week of English. Um, and hopefully you've got a real kind of bank of poetry coming along now that you've written okay we started off looking at I am a writer and then we went on to thinking about the food a little bit of food which you should have a really nice poem from that hopefully and then we've got our lockdown poems and now you've got your werewolf club rules poem okay um, as I've said all throughout the week send your teachers copies of any poems that you're feeling really proud of or any videos of you performing any of the poetry. We're going to stick with this book for next week as well. Miss Cook will be talking you through the English lessons next week. Um, and I know she's got some really fun lessons planned on some more of these poems that we're going to explore. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that too. Okay, um, have a great weekend and well done for all of your hard work this week. Okay, keep it up. <laughs>